Well, my good guy, here, look, I'm delighted to meet you upstairs. I'm the Copa, um, Ryan, and you asked me with the badge, and your late uh, granddad was Whitley mentioned that. And as was your father, obviously. Yeah, indeed. And, and look, you sometimes, if you're out of a job Friday, which you seem to think you might be, be welcome down to, to retrace the first steps and maybe make a film. Of, of, yes. Uh, of course. Come on, use your time wisely. Come on, you've ten minutes. They're taking the opportunity, but sure, look at that. We're here now. Welcome, our guests. Of course, you can, of course. Welcome, our guests, and and, and thank (laughs) them for coming in. Uh, Mr. Kelly, regarding the invoices made out to Astos, is it really legitimate for us to expect? I usually expect that we have an understanding um, of the reasons why you were advised to make false um, invoices out to um, um, Astos, and do you find being asked to submit an invoice to Astos? As unusual. Um, I think, as I said, with antenna up now, you'd certainly question at the time. We didn't question anything. It was an instruction from RTE. Okay. Instruction from RTE. And have you ever had dealings with Estes in the past? Or has Mr. Troberty been paid uh, through Estes uh, accounts in the past? No, never. Never. Okay. Ms. Kelly, how many companies have you that you used to invoice RT for Mr. Troberty's salary? I have, t- I have two companies. And Mr. Uh, Trumpley's accountants in invoice or, uh, or TA for tough questions. And do you now accept, Mr. Kelly, that you uh, created false invoices, uh, even if RT asked you to do so? That this is actually complicity in a potential financial fraud crime, aiding and abetting. We didn't. Uh, we didn't raise any false invoices. We just raised exactly what was asked of us by RT. But we now know that there were. They were legitimate, they were different. Uh, at, at, all, at all times, we thought Renault were paying the invoices. Renault paid the first one, and, and our assumption was that Renault were paying the other ones. But again, you know, that, that was, it was always on, under instruction. And why would the invoice be made out uh, by a sister company, uh, CMS, instead of MK Management, and addressed to a UK company in, in Estes, and um, which company accounts are, which company accounts are these payments, you know, um, reflected? Sure. Um, we, we invoice, both companies would, 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 could invoice each other as in NK, NK or, or CMS. Astus again was under instruction from, from RTA. So you just took your instructions lightly. And one, um, who exactly in RTA requested you, uh, requested a false invoices be switched to another known Kelly company? Um, that was page 25 um, from commercial. And why was it not an old Kelly company so willing to create a false invoices? You know, has, has it probably ever been paid uh, by CMS in the past? He could have been, yeah. He could have been for, for it could have been a CMS event or, a, you know, or an NK event, it would depend. Could have been. I, and they, they would go to his company. And why was it necessary for false invoices to be switched to another um, newly created uh, company? Of yours, Mr. Kelly. Again, it was under instruction from RTE to send the invoice as, as stated. And can I ask, Mr. Kelly, uh, are you fully tax compliant oh, now? Completely, completely. Always have been. And could I further ask to the chair, have you had ever, ever had arrangements with offshore companies to no. keep your tax? Not at, all, not at all. We're, just, we're a small company. This is like, we're not RTE, 350 million euros, it's a small company. Okay, that's that's your, that's your answer, and um, uh, Mr. Tuberty, I mean, do you now have you know full full faith and full uh, confidence in Mr. Kelly's uh, as to be your agent, to continue to be your agent after all, as come out at this stage? Yes, I do. I think that he's explained himself. I think he has, uh, at all times, produced a paper trail where it was necessary. So yes, he's always been had my back uh, in the 20 years we've worked together. So I have no reason to say any other, anything other than that. But like we're trying to create a new, get everything out in the open, start off with respect to all the employees in RT and all the listeners. Yes. I mean, people out there don't, so I mean, but you endorsing Mr. Kenny now, it's very hard to, uh, for people to understand that. After parts and devices, I'll be at your ass to give them, but you didn't ask why or what. So I mean, it's yeah, I, I think, deputy, that that um, you know, I, I would I would hope that after today, people would look differently at the story. Uh, but I would also say, 
to, to call them false invoices probably doesn't, is, is muddying the pitch a little bit. In they the were never that. false invoices. They are not false invoices. They were, they were made out for things that weren't, they weren't supposed to be. What do you call that? From under instruction from RTE. So you, so I said that, aiding and abetting and, and deception. That's false. I mean, a, aiding and abetting. Please don't. We have, we have some level of intelligence. And so, Mr. Tuppany, over the last decade, were you, were you ever an employee of RT? Um, right. No, I think I've been a sole trader, so I'd be contractor. just operating contractor. Sorry, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Mr. Tuppany, who do you work for? I mean, why do you work for RT via that the sole trader? Yeah, it's a fair, as fair, a difference. it's a fair question. As, as I recall it, uh, RT along the way decided that people. Uh, like me, whatever that means, working at a certain level within the organization, doesn't make you better than anyone else, but just makes you probably better paid for sure, uh, is uh, they, they, I think they wanted us, is that right, to, to go sole trader? So uh, th this is not, sorry to say, this is not my wheelhouse uh, in terms of um, detail, but that's what they said, go sole trader, and I did. And I'm, I'm in a position where my tool in life is words, and that's never been good, never been good with numbers and so forth. So I have an accountant, I pay him, and I have an agent, I pay him, and I, I kind of hope that they pull it all together for me, and they have so far. Look, we all have, Mr. Tuberty, we all have, you know, in private business and accountants, and we sit down and we have to answer all the questions and be sure. Oh, I know, I'm not, that's why I'm here. I asked to be here. I know, but in, in, in returning our accounts annually, we have to do it. Oh, again. yeah, well, as... as, as we don't as, get a chance to go before any, any committee to... No, no. To, to address the nation. But no, I appreciate anyway, that. you're here. Yeah. And can I ask you, Mr. Tuberty, what, is, um, what are the typical tax benefits of working for RT via production company, as you are, or, or um, sole trader? Or? I, I, again, do you know the answer, or is that an accountant's it, question? Again... Um, sorry, um, to Sorry. Again, it, it's all independent contractors sell hours of service as Brian said 205 hours of radio 38 two hour plus shows on the late uh, on the late late show and um, and that's what they're selling their time they're independent contract contractors they've no they've no union they've no pension they've um, they've you they have me and they have me and do you know what sorry so I'm going to just say and I have a duty of care to my clients, you have. I 100% I, I, I have, and I am absolutely. I accept that, but it stretches credibility like that. Mr. Tuberty doesn't understand any of the readings that have gone on. That, well, I'm uh, sorry to stretch the credibility, but it's a matter of fact. It, and it, I will also say what Noel said there about duty of care. He actually cares about my head and my how I'm feeling about the world, despite everything, in a way that maybe I know, I appreciate that. So do we all. We I know. I, 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 okay. This is not lynch mob here. That's, that's true. We all oh, do. I, I know that. I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't invite myself before a, a lynch mob. I know it's not that at all. I fully respect what, what's happening here. But I just feel sometimes that there, that there, there, there is a... Yeah, there's an issue with people, but people's health. When, when a company's accounts are signed off, people have to take responsibility for the accounts, notwithstanding what their accountant tells them. Like, you have to know yeah. that everybody's in this is right, as proper, and before yourself and, and your maker. Mr. Trouble, could I ask you, uh, um, I, I do value, and my children and grandchildren love the Thai show. I, I did have one issue during the COVID with the, the, the whole Pfizer jab, the child being used in that way, that I, I thought it was horrific. Uh, to, to, to sell uh, Pfizer or promote them. Do you have any benefit um, in financial or otherwise from Pfizer? Uh, Deputy, not in the slightest. Actually, that was, that, that, that was all done in, 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 a, in a way that was not meant to be political or scientific. It was just uh, of, on its day. It's meant to be satirical, frankly. Uh, so, no, never got a benefit from Pfizer, no. Never? Never. Right. Never. RT just got all the benefits. Okay, I, I you can toss them that on Thursday. I accept. We are really asking them, but we <laughs> had to get answers out of them in fairness. But that's a different more forthcoming. Well, I appreciate that. But, I mean, look, and all that's gone on since now, and yes. as I said, the fiduciary duties of the board, many more gone now. Yes. Like, all wasn't well there, so I mean, how does that fit with you now? I know that you've been getting a lot of uh, criticism and all that, and I'm delighted that you're getting so many cares of goodwill, and we wish you... Good weather, good I appreciate that. And, and it's been a very difficult uh, three weeks, and, uh, and uh, it's been. I know life is hard for a lot of people in Ireland. I'm not trying to be any spe more special than anyone else, but when you're publicly cancelled the way I've been, it's, it's been. Uh, it has not been easy. I, I can appreciate that, and your family as well. I appreciate, it. and we send our good wishes to them. As I said, but it's uh, it's uh, p people out there during that time, especially were suffering such huge uh, cuts to their income. Business, small business, especially wiped out. 
wiped out. I totally understand that. It's a bad work, and the fact that they hadn't, they weren't getting the proper. Um, are you sorry now that you didn't correct the figures when they were published? I, from, from the get-go, the, 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 the very day, well, the day after this whole statement came out, uh, I said that, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Should have said something. Yeah. Whatever. It's a mail call, but Deputy. I, and I, appreciate, I appreciate that you're putting your hands up. So look, yes. as I said, um, uh, so you have still have full confidence in, in Mr. Kelly. Yes, I do. He's my friend. It's by, and I appreciate that. I don't expect your friendship to be upset. But on a human level, yes. I, I think I find it very hard uh, to accept like well, the false invoices. They were not invoices for the purposes that they were there. They were created by different companies and changed to another a separate company again. And that is not standard practice for anybody. You couldn't buy a truck like that, as somebody else said. You have to get an invoice for a truck, not for a, not for a dunking cart. Or something like yeah, that. It has to be. It has to be a, a troll. All, all, all under instruction. And, and Thank you, Deputy McGrath. You can't use that um, instruction to be just ask no questions. What is this? Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. You have okay. to have some. Uh, Thank you. Uh, depends, you to, some you idea. You have to trust, Deputy. You have to trust. Yeah, for sure. We know now what to trust. Well, it's easy, it, I know, and it's easy to. And, and the license to pay is their trust. It's easy to know now. Yeah, but you can't. You don't in business. Take everybody at their word because you have to be sure you can send it up and the invoices are legitimate. Thank you, Deputy McGrath, and appreciate Thank uh, you, your Thank you, clarity with your questions. I, I, you have run out of time and I've given you latitude. Is that